That's a lick that I use all the time and uh, with reasonable success. Uh, it's kind of uh, influenced by Chuck Berry's Johnny Be Good and uh, Eddie Cochran's Genie, Genie, Genie. And also from my lessons with Eddie Angel, he kind of borrows that lick once in a while, my guitar teacher, Eddie. And uh, I've, I've always thought it was really cool. So what I'm doing, I'm thinking about an A chord here. So if you think about the fifth fret, A root on the sixth string, or first string that kind of gives you your bearings. Um, and then you build your chord there an A bar chord, which is shaped like an E. And then you bar. That's like a five, seven, seven, six, five, five. And what I'm targeting is that the note on the third string, sixth fret, C sharp, sliding into that with my middle finger. I'm gonna make sure everybody's got this, so I'm gonna go kind of slow. I'm gonna repeat myself. I'm going for the third string 6th fret with my middle finger. Using the right finger is important because then everything's going to line up. So, And you can start from 2nd fret, 3rd, 4th, 5th fret, wherever you want to start. I kind of like 2nd fret or 4th fret, but it doesn't matter that much. Just as long as you land on that 3rd string 6th fret with your middle finger and don't go too high or too low. No. Bad good for now all right just want to make sure everybody's got that because that's super important you can use this over and over for anything many many licks will work with this um, and then I'm going to use my index finger to play the second string fifth fret well actually I'm gonna lay it flat and hit two strings the two skinny strings with my pointer finger fifth fret that's an E and an A E note, A note, two notes, which is basically an A power chord, only inverted where the root is the highest note instead of the lowest note, it's inverted. So A is higher than E versus here. A plus E is an A power chord, and it's part of this chord here. It's also part of this chord, like an F shape, F, F, G, A. Looks like an F, but it's an A. That's how it works. So, I'm gonna slide up, and then get my first finger flat on two skinny strings, and hit it twice with my with downstroke with the pick. One thing about your pick, make sure your hand is sitting on the bridge, just resting. You're not using your arm and your elbow and moving way big. It's just really, you're gonna fix a whole bunch of stuff if you just let your uh, picking hand, hit that bridge and fall forward, you're set. Then I go back to that third interval, the C sharp on the third string sixth fret. And then back to my uh, little power chord there. That's a huge part of the lick. If you got that far, you're doing great. So stay with me here. Here it comes again, just checking it out. Middle, index, two picks, two downstrokes, back to the third string, and back to the shape. So there's not a lot going on here. Pretty stripped down and minimalistic, which is makes it easy to play, makes it fun to listen to, uh, makes it, uh, you know, you're going to have a success rate if you keep it simple with me here. That's the lick. So then, I'm gonna take my ring finger, finally gets to do something. Third finger is gonna play the second string, seventh fret, which is a sixth interval, which means like a, when I add that pinky, or the ring finger on that kind of rock and roll, it's like a power chord and you're adding the sixth degree of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It, we're adding a six.
just for one downstroke. Is like this. Hear it? And I just do that so much, it's you know automatic. Uh, let me let me try it. I've been using my drum machine here. Let's take her down. I'm going to cut that tempo in two, take it down really, really slow with this little beat and play what I got cooking here. Alright, that's 40 beats a minute with this kind of double time beat. So it's probably kind of like 80 beats a minute if we double it. So I'm gonna, uh, let's see if you can do that. Why don't you give it a try? I'm gonna play the rhythm and see if you can play along with the beat here. And I'll, I'll kind of give you a cue of uh, what that means. Ooh. All right, ready, go. You do that. Now I'll play a rhythm. I'll go back to lead. Eventually we're going to take it up to D and E, which is just a 10th fret, 11 and 10. There's your D if you want to jump ahead, and then the E is up at the 12th, 13th fret. The E and the D. For the super bonus, you can go way up to the 17th. I think it's pretty useful I and I do use that all the time and I have a lot of fun playing it so I just want to make sure that my buddies you know if you're interested if you want to do that um, it's highly playable if you need a PDF let me know I can make one I probably have already drawn that out I'll email it to you you just got to contact me via email hooverguitar at yahoo.com well I've got three gigs in a row this weekend, so I gotta get ready for number three, playing in Williamsburg, Iowa here with Surf Zombies. It's been a great weekend, super fun. Saw a lot of people that really, uh, you know, give me a lot of uh, positive, uh, I don't know, friendship. Now, that's kind of what it's about, you know, music brings us together, so. All right, I'm rambling, I'm real happy. I'm pretty tired, but I'm going to get ready to rock some more. So you do the same if, if you're inspired. Thanks.